Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. The S&P 500 was down 1.7% today. Again, glad that we're, you know, on the sidelines with a big chunk of our stock market exposure. We will be making additional moves tomorrow uh, to further reduce our exposure to stock market uh, based on this move. Uh, the Federal Reserve came out today and raised rates three quarters of a point, which was pretty much in line with expectations. Uh, but they actually surprised the market with their projections, what they call a statement of economic uh, projection, SEC. Uh, that came out and said that they were going to be at potentially at 4.4% on the Fed funds rate by the end of the year. Uh, in their last meeting, they projected they'd be at 3.4%. So this was a lot higher than the last meeting by a percent. We're currently at about 3.2% right now. Uh, and so that's a pretty big jump uh, between now and the end of the year. They also projected that they would hit 4.6% next year. And again, even the market was figuring about 4.5%. So it's a little bit higher than the market expected. And so far, the market has been quite a bit ahead of the Federal Reserve in terms of what was expected. Market has been more correct than the Federal Reserve, and now finally the Federal Reserve has caught up to the market. Uh, but again, it was a little bit surprising. It was a bigger projected moves than the market had expected, and so we saw, you know, some really some volatility. It was kind of interesting when they first announced. Uh, the you know rate increases and in, and uh, release the uh, SEP, uh, the market dropped uh, quite a bit. And then during the question and answer, it came back up. Uh, the SP 500 was up 1.3% at one point during the day. And then it fell back down and fell really uh, mostly at the end of the day here uh, after uh, the question and answer period had already expired. So uh, again, we're in a downward market. The Federal Reserve is raising rates designed to slow down the economy. They're raising rates really quickly. Uh, that to create some problems potentially for the economy and how it's going to react to that. Uh, it is a very difficult thing for the Federal Reserve to do because they don't see the full impact of those rates for quite some time. Uh, and so, you know, we've already raised rates 3% just since March. Uh, what's the full impact of that? How is that going to help? You know, how is that going to affect the economy? Are we heading for a hard landing or not? You know, those types of things. Uh, and so it'll be very interesting to see how this plays out. But at this point, we feel it's a good time to be very cautious, sitting on the sidelines. Uh, we're even going to add some inverse position tomorrow. Again, we're not selling the pieces that we have that are kind of legacy pieces that people want us to hold. We're not selling the pieces that have high capital gains. Uh, we're selling the rest uh, to move into these T-bills, ultra short-term bonds. And now we're going to add this inverse position, which actually goes up uh, when the S&P 500 goes down. So uh, this will help for, for those of you who have high capital gain positions that we're not selling. Hopefully we can offset some of that, uh, you know, loss if the market does go down further uh, with some gains in this inverse position. Uh, we'll see how this plays out. But nonetheless, look forward to seeing what's going to happen tomorrow, and we will talk to you then. Thank you very much.